What is energy? In physics, energy is the quantitative property that must be transferred to a body or physical system to perform work. In the 21st century, energy is being used worldwide all the time. That brings us to our next question, which is, what are the types of energy? For instance, we have solar energy, wind energy, hydroelectric energy, geothermal energy, biomass energy, and hydrogen energy. Let's go more in depth now. But first, let's settle for a joke. Okay, back to the topic. Firstly, wind energy. It requires turbines which converts kinetic energy from the movement of the turbine into electrical energy. The turbine will move when there is a strong continuous gush of air which rotates the turbine. Secondly, solar energy. Solar energy requires solar panels to be directly under sunlight. This is so that the panels can convert heat energy from the sun into electrical energy. Next, we have hydroelectric energy. This energy is somewhat similar to wind energy because it has the same physics of using a turbine. This way, kinetic energy is transferred into electrical energy after the turbine is rotated due to the violent stream of water. Lastly is hydrogen energy. Hydrogen fuel cells will produce electricity by combining oxygen and hydrogen atoms. The hydrogen will react with oxygen across an electrochemical cell similar to a battery to produce water, small amounts of heat and electricity. But why? Why emphasize renewable energy? First of all, it reduces global warming. This is because the emission of pollutants such as carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide from factories are decreased and the ozone layer will start thinning out minute by minute. Science has actually helped the development of renewable energy. Saku, how do you think wind turbines came into existence? How about solar panels? All these advancements were made possible by combining the development of biology, physics and chemistry in order to innovate something new in order to help the world. As a matter of fact, in the year 2020 itself, around 20-30% to of Malaysia's energy comes from renewable energy. 30-50% to of Canada's energy is renewable. And that's the thing, isn't it? For decades, humans have been harming the earth with usage of non-renewable energy. Using fossil fuels to run our cars, using nuclear energy to power our homes while slowly destroying the earth. But now, with the power of science, we can hopefully create a cleaner and greener earth.